Hello! I'm coming at you now from three-dimensional space. That's something new for this video. As you can see, there's like a chair and like a painting back there, which is pretty cool. Um, I think I've topped out, though. I think that I've topped out. If I had any other dimensions, I broke physics. So this is all you're going to get. Um, anyway, what I wanted to talk about this time was... Uh, how much I hate it when people expect that you remember who they are. The reason I'm seriously taking issue with this is because when someone approaches you expecting you to remember who they are and you don't, you look like a total jerk even though you didn't do anything. It's just that your memory sucks. Like I was at this Mongolian restaurant the other day, not like a local authentic place, it was more of like a chain, a hoo hot, you know? And the thing that's funny about hoo hot is that Genghis Khan is the mascot there. And they really play it up. Like the word conquer is everywhere. And Genghis is above the buffet line and like on the menus. And you walk in and it's like, Genghis didn't have to wait and neither should you. And I don't know how that's excusable. Like you would be going into a German restaurant and seeing Hitler didn't take crap from anybody. Like... I guess they put a really positive spin on Genghis Khan in Mongolia because like something like 10% of Mongols are his direct descendants. So it's almost like racism to be against Genghis. But in the rest of the world, we're all like, no, come on, that's bullcrap. We know, we know how bad the dude was. He killed so many people that the Earth's climate changed. And by the way, like, to have that many descendants, you have to have a lot of sex, and almost all of it was rape. The only, I think the only route to having 10% of a nation be in your bloodline is to rape boatloads of people. And, like, it's easy to make light of it now, 700 years later, but it's important to remember that at the time, he was raping people. That is not acceptable. And... So shame on Huhat, and shame on all the Americans who just go up for seconds like, Woohoo! Genghis! Whose sense of history is so superficial that they're just going, yeah, feed the hordes! And so, um, so me and my buddies are out supporting their business, and this kid comes up to me because he recognizes me. And so I'm like, oh, hey, and he's like, you remember who I am, right? And I didn't, which made it awkward and terrible. And uh, so it turns out <laughs> that this kid was the water boy on my high school football team. And he thought that I should dedicate valuable storage space, typically reserved for family birthdays and people I've loved and medical emergency information, for that. And I guess it would be one thing if we had like shared an experience or had a moment together, but we didn't even have that. Like, if he had asked me to buy him chewing tobacco and I gave him a talk about integrity, or if like he was walking to the back of the bus and it was dark and he saw me getting sexual favors from a cheerleader, or like I could be giving sexual favors to the cheerleader, like it, the story doesn't have to be so patriarchal. Uh, none of it even happened. But if it did, and like we made eye contact, and I went like this, that would be grounds for remembering who he was. But that never happened. And also, I just don't get thirsty that easily, like, so I don't really need a water boy. I was never dehydrated enough to know him. That's like the whole, our whole story together. And so now I look like a jerk. When really, he's the kid who thinks that he's so cool that everyone who he ever came in contact with should know who he is. So really, he's the jerk, not me. Right? 